Hi everyone, welcome to week four. Okay, so in week four, we are going to continue our discussions of threats and risks and hazards, and we are going to specifically concentrate on the response of private security and public security. We're gonna dive deep into how public and private security teams can minimize risks and try to make uh, the situations less vulnerable. So in other words, we know that there's always gonna be threats and risks, but the job of security is to get the best results um, from those situations and to have the least amount of negative consequences. So the lecture materials go into um, great detail about that, and I think you'll find them very interesting. So let me know if you have any questions as you go through the lecture materials or if there's anything you want to add or discuss. Okay. And then um, we have some assignments this week. First is the discussion board as usual. Um, this week's discussion board is interesting. There's a hypothetical situation and you are going to put yourself in the shoes of a security personnel and you're going to discuss how to best handle the security concerns in this hypothetical situation. So it's not meant to be a debate about what's right or what's wrong. It's the, the, the question is how to keep everyone safe in this situation. So I think we'll get into some good conversations, and I look forward to that. Okay, next we have the portfolio project. The next section of it or next part of it is due. You'll remember that in week two we had a discussion board um, specifically dedicated to the portfolio project, and now we're ready to move on and draft the outline. Again, you're using the situation described in the instructions for the portfolio project, and you're creating an outline. I think that the instructions are pretty straightforward, but if you have any questions about it or you're struggling at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Okay, um, after that, we have the midterm, and um, as you'll remember back in week three last week, I gave you the essay questions for the midterm. So you have those. Hopefully, you had a chance to look at them. Um, if you have, then once you open the midterm um, exam, you can just cut and paste those questions from a Word document into the exam. If you haven't had a chance to look at them and you're doing it this week, that's fine too. Um, just you know, you'll you can just type them right into um, the the uh, midterm exam, and then you also have multiple choice and true or false questions as well. So that. The essays and the other questions make up the full midterm. You will have two attempts. So if you take it the first time and you think maybe you could have done better, or you feel you got some questions wrong, feel free to study again and then take it again, and the higher grade will count. So there's no downside to taking it again because if, even if you don't do as well, the higher grade counts. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions as you prepare or as you know while you're taking the midterm. Um, okay, the next. Um, the item on my list is an assignment where um, you are going to be comparing a natural disaster to a man-made situation. And um, the article, the, the assignment provides two articles for you to do, for you to read and um, make comparisons. And then there's a Word document that has a chart on it with questions, and you'll be filling in the questions, comparing and contrasting the two situations. Um, and then to, it'll basically it'll look like an, uh, a chart in a Word document, and that's what you'll be submitting. So it's, it might sound convoluted, but it's not. So once you click on it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, you can just copy and paste that chart into your own Word document and submit that. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And then finally is a reflection. Um, again, reflections are very useful because they help you to make connections between the subject matter and your everyday life. And I think it's a great way to ensure that you're really understanding and comprehending everything that we're um, discussing. So it sounds like a lot, but hopefully when you um, go through it, you will see that it makes sense and is pretty straightforward. If it's not making sense to you or you have any questions at all, I am here and would love to help. So please reach out to me anytime. Okay, I look forward to week four with you. Thanks.